Nagatacho has been rocked by party chair Ogikubo's sudden retirement due to illness. Well, oh, damn, he's actually going through with politics. it. Ogikubo was the prime minister's last ally in keeping parliament together. An election shall be held to reaffirm the will of the people. I look forward to a new citizens liberal party and a new cabinet. The prime minister made more shockwaves later that day. In the afternoon, he announced he would appoint Rio Aoki to Ogikubo's now vacant post. Aoki will be the first sitting governor to also serve as the ruling party's chair. This bold move is sure to have ripple effects. Oh god, is this where they bring in the horse? Oh no. How are you feeling, former chairman? Surely the governor of Tokyo can read. My sign says no visitors. Oh, suddenly rules are important to you. Naturally. Shouldn't you concern yourself with the rules you've already broken? For example, counterfeiting. Your crimes put the entire national economy at risk. Do you know how many lives were saved by what you call a crime? Hundreds. You know, if you're gonna try and like take the high road, Built a road I would like for you to not law. leave it at How hundreds. Can say they caught people right? Like, I think cracks. a lot more than hundreds of lives would be ruined by, uh, you think you're like, economic disaster like that. Mm. Oh, I've got plenty of talents. I just use them very differently compared to you. For example, I managed to fit your downfall into my already very busy schedule. The governor is the party chair. Nothing could be more ripe for corruption. Oh. Everything I'm gonna do will be labeled scandalous by withered old men like you. But by next year, Japan will have a new standard, and it will have been written by me. Spoken like a true amateur. <laughs> amateur, huh? Let me ask you. Do you remember my first election ten years ago? I asked you for the Citizens Liberal Party endorsement. You insulted me. Your exact words were, Bleach Japan is a bunch of kids playing at politics. Your home district is Kanagawa's second. Isn't that right? I'm happy to tell you, Bleach Japan will be running a candidate there in the next election cycle. And he'll have the Citizens Liberal Party's ringing endorsement. So. How does it feel to have everything taken from you by a bunch of kids? Well, it was inevitable. I'm like Our 83 years old. Kanagawa's District 2 is all but <laughs> certain. So I've come up with a plan for taking out the trash in Ijincho. Of course, we'll probably lose half the population. Are you calling the people of Ijincho trash? I'm calling them disposable. Pardon me? What did you call them? People who fell through the cracks? Can't you see that's their own fault for becoming so dependent on the Grey Zones? They're responsible for maintaining their home. And they failed. That's what makes them disposable. But I must be going. As I said, I've got a busy schedule. Happy retirement, my former chair. Very slow response time for these nurses. You, yeah, you'd think you someone would, uh, after its like, listen to this, complete. like, rapid beeping. Some, some would say that there may be a shortage of nurses, uh, this time, in this timeline. <laughs> I, you know, I hadn't considered that angle. COVID affects each country differently. <laughs> Clearly. So, it's your hideout? Yep, go ahead. Make yourself at home. You, you want a drink, Chow? I, I know it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, yes. but... 
The square footage of this place leaves something to be desired. Well, excuse me. I'm hearing some pretty high standards for a couple of pad crashers. We're not crashing it. Nambasan gave us permission. <laughs> Who the hell says no to Jungi Han when he has to stay the night? I've seen what he does to people. I don't want head trauma. Hey, where are the rest of your people now that Komi Jewel HQ is gone? They're fixing the surveillance system. It will take some time for it to be fully restored. Well, I get why Jun Gihan is staying here since this place is a pile of ashes. But what's Zhao's excuse? It's not like I could just keep living in Qing Chen after stepping down from the Liu Meng. Wouldn't have sent the right message. So, I'm joining the ranks of the homeless. Still doesn't explain why you need to stay here. Maybe because information collects where people do. And this group does seem to be in the know. We do? But we don't even know what happened to Bleach Japan. Did the police ever put a stop to all that craziness? The police? Kasuga-kun, haven't you seen the news? No, I haven't had the time. Well, Bleach Japan's reputation in Eugene Cho, hell all of Japan, is golden after the Komi Joe thing. What? Oh yeah, you wouldn't believe the headlines. Despite pair, brave Bleach Japan topples Komiju Gang. Grassroots org achieves what police never could. Shit like that. Wow, great journalism. No spin at all. That's not even the worst of it. The reports say that Komiju committed arson during its fight with Bleach Japan. And in the blaze, Bleach Japan director Ogasawara perished. He's dead? What happened? He was definitely alive after the fire. That's when we interrogated him. Yeah, then the Omi Alliance rescued him. Why would he be... <gasps> Wait, did they? Yes, they probably killed him. I had that thought right away. At least he died the way he wanted to, as a hero of the revolution. Not necessarily for the revolution, but you know. I guess can't be choosers. Because he squawked like a bird when you Yeah, to him, he like in his dying moments, he he he, he just saw himself as disposable. But you know, everyone else is uh, spinning it as him being a martyr in the for the cause. No crime reports, cops and doctors wouldn't bat an eye, and Bleach Japan gets a nice tragic death to go on about. Ah, damn. I wish we'd picked a fight with dumber enemies. But what can we do? Go to the police and explain how we abducted Ogasawara? What would be the point? Half the force is on Mabuchi's payroll. No, they would just book our asses. So Aoki has everyone marching along to his little tune. All in step. Young master. Okay, Bleach Japan's got us by the short hairs there. But what about the fact they were trespassing on Komijo property? Well, they must have figured the public would think the ends justified the means. And they were right. The public thinks Bleach Japan is the hero of this story. The police will never prosecute them for trespassing. At this rate, the Komijo and the Liu Mong are going to be extinct in Ijin Cho. And people like you who give us shelter will be an endangered species. I wish I didn't have to say this, but I suggest you make other living arrangements. I can't. I'm waiting for someone to contact me here. Who? It's secret. Arakawa-san, he's about to go all in with his next gamble. When that happens, he'll need strong allies. M more than he's already got? I can't say anymore. I'm sorry. Me too. I'll be in touch. Hmm. <laughs> well then. Each but I'm pretty sure you could have like told him your phone number or uh the boss wasn't told him to leave a message with the bartender. Yeah, leave me an email. Sorry, but don't you think that's still kind of fucked up? It's a long story. Buy me a beer sometime and I'll tell you all about it. Right now, while we've got you on the team, we need to get shit done. 
And we need to stock up on money and supplies because nobody knows what the hell will happen next. That's for sure. Just, just give me a second, Dachi. My payday's in a couple of uh, in a couple of weeks. Anyway, we got Xiao. He's the last party member. Yay! He's uh, if I had to describe his playstyle, he's 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 basically a magic knight. He's got some good, both at uh, he's both got a good attack and magic attack. Also, there's going to be a lot more Tojo Clan crests floating around from enemies now, so if you need to go uh, far, far more uh, for, far more th for those, you can do that now. Also, as we uh, start walking around, uh, we get a call. Hey. Well, since she doesn't seem to be in a rush, let's just take our time then. Wow, you're gonna make her wait. Terrible. Yeah, I friend. got some business. I got some business to take care of. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm sure I've mentioned this like when the uh, mechanic came up, but you can um, talk with the <laughs> with some of these ladies who run a couple of the uh, services around town to um. Raise your friendship with them. Uh, and, you know, they all have a, a certain flowers they like, so... Yep. And I think in total you need to give each of them, like, 16? <laughs> yeah, I, I forget the number, but it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, like, I, I think you can just buy all of them from, uh, from the park. It, it's kind of expensive that way, but, so you know, if you're doing the business minigame, that, that's not really a problem. When you give them 10... Flowers. That's basically the end of the uh, or the last requirement for um, you know, chatting them up and making friends with them. Mm -hmm. And to even get this far, you do need to raise your your social stats to a certain degree. I don't remember what Sumeria wants though. But on top of you know, giving her flowers and being Yo, passionate, Sumire. maybe. How's the uh, workshop treating you? You also do need to invest a whole lot of money into her workshop. Oh hey, I gotta thank you, Kasuga-san. I've been doing some groundbreaking stuff with all this new equipment I got. Yeah? That's awesome. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. That wasn't all me. You're the one working your butt off to keep this shop going. <laughs> you know, Kasuga-san, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. What's up? I... um... Hey! Anybody in here? That voice. No way. Huh? Dad. Wait, this is the guy? The one who cleaned the place out and left it to rot? The one and only. It's been a long time, Sumire. You've grown. <laughs> you were just a little pipsqueak when I last saw you. <laughs> what do you want, Dad? Oh, my. Your father comes to visit you, and this is how you greet him? I would have expected a little more gratitude. Huh? Ah, who do we have here? Didn't know you were into scruffy, deadbeat assholes. That's so rude. Kasuga-san's not like that. Not at all. Well, not like any For some other reason, I thought he was asking, or you want. accusing Ichiban I of being into scruffy, deadbeats. Then why'd you bother coming back? Why else? 
so I can sell this goddamn place. Think of all the money I could get from a magic pink whirlpool. And even the 3D print stuff, it's so cool. We heard you got yourself some new equipment, but this is something else. Bet this stuff's worth a fortune. Yeah, no kidding. Must have put in a lot of elbow grease to get it this way. Makes a father proud. Listen, Kasuga-san worked hard to make this possible. None of this is yours to take. Oh, though you let someone else do all the heavy lifting? <laughs> what a shame. I thought you'd have grown more independent. Sir, well, that's, that's not quite how having investors works. Day. What are you trying to do? Get lost already! Not a chance. This workshop is my life. Like hell I'm gonna let you sell it out from under me! Oh, really? Then I guess I raised you wrong. Move! <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when you disobey your father, child? Asshole. Hey. Huh? Thank you, Ichiban. What's the big idea? This is none of your damn business! Believe me, when it comes to other people's family, I'd rather not get involved. But hitting your daughter's fucked up. And I can't let that slide. I can hit who I damn well please! Maybe I ought to give you a taste! Well, if he, is, if he so insists on hitting us, Jesus Christ, why are the enemies in this fight level 17? I don't think you can do this uh, until, you know, this chapter. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to talk a little bit about Shao, but I don't think I'm going to have much of an opportunity to. We'll, we'll just talk about him more in a couple of uh, videos. And they have sure, longer fights. I'm pretty sure this is one of those combats where with Joongi Hong, I just his divine bullet or whatever and killed everybody. Oh yeah, Divine Shaw would easily take care of this. Yeah, it's I, like, you guys annoy you just, me, Burp. Yeah, you just don't get until really late. That you get so tough. <laughs> you can thank your amazing daughter for that. Now, if you're still bent on taking over this place, find a harder worker than her. And a tougher bastard than me. But after what we've been through, I doubt you're gonna have much luck. Kasuga-san. Damn you. Fine. I'll leave you alone. Phew. You all right there, Sumire? Kasuga-san. What? I wanted to thank you. This is very awkward. And for me. Is this supposed to be a hug, Sumire? Sumire. <sighs> I'd like to repay you. What? Let me give you a custom tune. Uh, <laughs> One that's <laughs> for you. I need an adult. I need an adult. <laughs> you you are the adult. Well, that was uh I imagine this is how engineers make love. Engineers, mechanics, <laughs> mathematicians. I have the perfect raw material to work with. Was that a blacksmith's joke? <laughs> well, thanks again for today. I bet you won't be forgetting about the workshop or me anytime soon. No, of course I won't. The future's only going to get brighter from here, right? Totally. <laughs> And I can already see the judgment syndrome coming in. <laughs> oh, also, we can hire Samira now. Yay. I forget, she doesn't have any good stats, I don't think. Or at least... I, ge I genuinely don't remember, like, any of the, uh, like, the stats for people like her in the management. Yeah. I feel like maybe she's good, but also only if you don't count DLC. Hot. Oh, uh, that, okay, DLC is just cheating, honestly. I know, but you know, when it's when it's shoved on you, you, you know, sometimes you, gotta, you just gotta take it. 
Anyway, what? Now, now that we got a new party member, why don't we go check out a couple of shops and uh, see what dialogue um we can we can get just by uh ordering out the entire menus of places. Dang! Surprised you haven't puked. The smell of fresh mocha. You really love coffee, don't you? I do. Which one is very judgmental looking there. <laughs> you know, what's the difference between mocha, Kilimanjaro, Blue Mountain, and all that? Is it the flavor or the value or what? Well, different varieties have different prices. For instance, Kopi Luox worth 10 grand, and that's only for 200 grams. And just wait until uh, I tell you about you how they harvest that. that. Much on coffee? What a world! Those beans made of gold. No, of poop. Believe it or not, they're taken from the droppings of a musk cat. There's not a lot in production either, so it's got high scarcity value. You mean this is cat shit coffee? And it's worth ten grand? I guess people will do anything to wake up in the morning. I don't know. I kind of want to try it. Should I let you know if I get I, I'm with Zhao on that. I do want to try Kopi Muak one day. Yeah, that's a hard pass. I take my caffeine crap free. I, I, according, according to Binging with Babbage, like, it, it's the, the smoothest cup of, like, diner coffee you'll ever have, but, like, I still want to try it. Uh, there was, um, there was a coffee roaster, like, near Order my office this. where, who... They had a bag. Why, it was like a hundred bucks, though. You like it? Wait, you're the one who got me this cream so, uh, latte. So I, I don't know. Like I would like to try, it, but not These at those prices. Favorite. This one especially. <sighs> Glad you like it. Almost thought I messed up at first, but I guess I know your taste after all. Wait, why would you say that? I mean, you knock back drinks with all of us. I've seen you crash on the couch, bottle still in hand. So, I figured you might not like sweet stuff. Oh, so that's how you see me? Yeah, that's not exactly a very flattering image, Ichiban. <laughs> oh, I, I do like that there are some, some of these are like follow-ups to other uh, chats Judy, that you could have here. You okay? Yeah. Like, like, like that milk one there. was a follow-up from one we, oh, I think I showed no. off like chapter or it so? Really savoring the sure. moment when fresh bread first hits your tongue. Oh yeah, I feel you. This place uses a really rich dough, so each bite is better than the last. So what is that? A Jungi bun? Wait, what did you just say? Uh, so so what is that? Jungi Han? Did you not just say Jungi bun? Of uh, of course not. You must be hearing things. All right, then. Come on, each bond. Own up to it. Ooh, that was close. I knew the opportunity was ripe for a bread pun, but I can't believe that's what I went with. I know I heard Jungi bun, and that's not bad, but you could do better. How about Ichi bun Kasuga? That's the same pun. At least change it up a little. Ah, see? I knew you said Jungi bun. Enough with the buns and the puns. Just shut up and eat your bread. I feel like in, in Japanese, Sorry. like, you, you'd be ripe to, like, make a pun out of the, the Japanese word Wait, for bread, too. Why am I hey, a get a loaf of this. <laughs> oh, delicious. What's that look? Can I say something wrong? Whatever do you mean, Ichiban-san? I hadn't realized I was being so inelegant. You know, since I sleep with a bottle and all. Oh, come on, I didn't mean it that way. I was just calling it how I see it. Anyway, you can forgive me. Hmm. Buy me something else, and I might just consider it. 
Now let's see. After that heavy cream latte, I need something refreshing. Hmm. What would go great after a, a, a cream latte? Oh my gosh, yes! Cream lattes are good, but I needed something like this to clear the aftertaste. <laughs> Glad I got it right for you. I really gotta wonder what kind, what kind of aftertaste you get with a cream latte. I just like that this is this part of the game is the only reason why you'd want a Prima's official guide. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Hey, one of my favorite one of these uh, table chats is here at um the wet kitchen around now. Huh? You know. Having a glass of iced tea in hand. It's not this one. Kind of classy. Tea does have a certain sort of elegance to it. Kasugakun, would you consider yourself superficial? Huh? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I guess I do go for what looks good. Like the first time I did a festival, I was the only one rocking the coat and the loincloth. I like to get the job done right, you know? <laughs> that does not surprise me. So did you invent that hairstyle then? Looks like a foreign rock star's. <laughs> no, this is just a failed punch perm. Word. Then I guess it's your own original style. Nichi Bun original, huh? You know, I like the sound of that. This hair represents my struggle to the top. You're a true pal, Zhao San. Looks more like you struggled to get out of bed. No, that looks completely different. Trust me. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I think Adachi's just looking in the mirror. Oh, this coffee's just perfect. Yep. Nowadays, you can get coffee that'll blow your mind practically anywhere. If only Sunghui heard you say that. She had me master all these brewing methods just to get it how she likes. Oh yeah? I guess there's a lot you can do with coffee, huh? Absolutely. You can siphon it, French press it, drip it through a cloth. But you know, there was a day we completely ran out of beans. So one of my men had the bright idea to make Songhui instant coffee. Oh, hope she didn't get too pissed. What'd she end up saying? I see you've bought new coffee. Best I've had so far. Uh... Oh, and I heard that. I couldn't help but notice how much instant coffee has improved and how little I had. Damn. It took one bag of instant coffee to really tear down Jinji, huh? I'll say that much. Yeah, seriously. Like, how, how do you recover from that? Dang. Like, you master all these different coffee techniques job. and it's just... Here's, here, here's a jar of uh, instant stuff. It's way better. Uh, 